So I want you to imagine sitting in class, thinking you have a month till season comes in, and your phone rings and it's Hunter Forbes with Southern Whitetails begging you to come kill a whitetail opening day in full velvet. That's called rather be lucky than good, and this is Chase in this hunt. So we roll into camp, shoot our bows a little bit, meet all the guys in camp, and just get all the stuff ready for the next evening because opening day is tomorrow, and we can't we can't be any more excited. So as I climb in the stand, I get all my stuff situated. I mean, this time of the year is primarily afternoon only, so I get to stand like one o'clock, and it doesn't get dark till about eight. So I had needless to say, I had a long sit in front of me. As I get situated, it doesn't take long for the first does to decide they're going to come into the field. In this particular stand, it was facing directly west, so that I was in the sun all evening. I mean, I, I was probably the only deer hunter in the state of Kentucky that had coon eyes at the end of my hunt. <laughs> As the afternoon rolls on, there's deer filling in, they're just they're cycling through, some good bucks come through, but just nothing that I was super impressed with. As the sun goes behind the trees, the deer movement definitely improves. I'm there, they're popping out, and I look to my right, and there's two good bucks coming to the field. So in this hunt, I'm self-filming. So as this deer's coming in, I'm trying to get the camera exactly perfect, I'm trying to get it to the spot that I think it's going to be when I get the shot. As I get the camera set up, I get my bow, I get calmed down, I draw back, and I make the shot. After seeing that Luminite kit, I felt really good about the shot. That's my boy right there. I taught him everything he knows. The first afternoon. Are you kidding me? I just really smoked one of the biggest deer of my life in full velvet. I'm so pumped. I'm ready to go get him now. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Way to pull off an open a weekend velvet kill. And it was a legit weekend run, first afternoon kill. Congratulations. As the afternoon goes by, Hunter and them finally make it to me. I get down, we're high five and shaking hands, and we finally get on the blood trail. I mean, this is a great great experience, a great hunt. I mean, the beginning of the week, I was sitting in class just thinking about hunting season. At the end of the week, I'm in Kentucky holding the buck of a lifetime. I couldn't ask for a better trip. Now it's my turn to try my luck and it's a few days later at Riverbend Whitetails. So when I get to Riverbend, I don't have time to do anything but grab my stuff and jump in a tree because it is prime time and the deer start moving. Literally as I get in the stand, deer are coming out and I look up the road and there's a beautiful full velvet perfect eight point walking down the road straight to me. So as this deer's coming in to feed, I'm solo filming now, don't forget that. So I'm having to figure out, get the right camera angle, the right shot angle, I'm trying to get everything perfect. Draw back, let an arrow fly, knowing everything is perfect. I just got a beautiful eight point in full velvet, and then I look at the footage and realize there was a limb in the way. So happens when you're solo filming. My first hunt in Kentucky, and I have nobody to high five celebrate nothing. But I am going to thank the Lord. Father, thank you so much for the privileges and the opportunities that I have that a lot of people don't they wish they had. You know, just the ability to be able to do what I do and the privileges. I just want to thank you so much for it, Lord. It's been a tough year, work and everything, but my faith's been in you through all of it, Lord. Just thank you for the opportunities you've given me. You know, we pray. Amen. But, baby. So, I've never had the opportunity to actually watch deer movies. And I'm not talking about, yeah, I've videoed and hunted my whole life, but I actually watched deer in the woods. And after I shot this deer, that's exactly what happened. And 
let me just tell you, that was probably the most exciting part of my whole life, was that right there. Is I seen three beautiful deer after I shot my deer. They were probably bigger than my deer. But just getting to sit back and enjoy them and thanking God for His creation. And that's what I enjoyed about this one, thank God for. Even though Matthew wasn't able to get the shot on camera, I mean, I know how hard it is to solo the film. They still had a great hunt and killed a wonderful deer. Good job, Matthew. So this was an awesome hunt. And I mean, I got my hands on a beautiful velvet eight point. I can't ask for much more than this and just thank God for the privileges and opportunities I do have. Congratulations to both of y'all on being able to both tag out on two awesome velvet bucks. And on the next episode, we're heading to West Texas for me to hopefully finally get the job done on an Axis buck.